guys, this isn't Exmouth, this isn't Cairns, this is Tasmania. Here we go. First Kingy and first Crazy. This is crazy. A lot of deep breaths going on. <laughs> it's all happening. Derms track the drone up in the air to see if he can spot any schools of kingfish. Here's the rest of the plane. <laughs> Alright, g'day guys, welcome back to This Is Living. So last episode we were wrapping up our South, <laughs> South Australia trip and we kind of hinted to you guys that we were going to be hopping on a plane and going to an island. Well, we have officially arrived at the beautiful King Island, which is one of the many islands off the coast of Tasmania. It is so far so beautiful. We're down here, we got invited by a maid of ours and we're pretty much just gonna be spending the next couple of days with his family, hopefully doing some amazing diving and chasing some really good fish and maybe the elusive crayfish that many of you know we have struggled to get over the last year. But yeah, we're both really excited just to explore this beautiful little island, see what it's all about and uh, let's go. Gonna get your first kingfish? I'm planning on it, fingers crossed. First yes. kingy and first crayfish. I want some wood to tap and cross that. Yeah, down there, go and touch wood. We'll bring you along, talk to you. not wasting any time so we got picked up from the airport we ducked home to say good day to the fam and uh and now we've hooked up the boat and we're going for a spear so uh dermont tells us that there's a lot of good fish getting around tuna kingfish a lot of craze in the water so it's looking pretty promising but i don't want to get too ahead of myself and you know always diving in a new place it always like makes you a little bit like jitty so we're gonna see how we go but it is absolutely stunning down here so oh Whew. A lot of deep breaths going on. <laughs> don't know what to expect, don't know what's going to be out there, but it's going to be great. Are you ready? You, what was that? Can I get that on camera? <laughs> Guaranteed cray, he reckons. I don't, think he, I don't think he knows how badly we're cursed, but... So it's all down to Liv's talent now, whether or not she can actually fly out. Shit. We were so excited to jump in the water and have our first dive in Tassie waters. We got straight into it looking under some rocks. And it just goes to show that if you know what to look for, it doesn't take long to find them. Let's 
insane! That one, maybe we back to clean up. <laughs> See you on the back. Nipples? Yeah. Oh, it's got little nipples on the back. Yeah, it's got a bag full of crays we thought we'd head back to our first rock where Tom dropped that big crayfish and have another crack at it this time it was my turn after a couple of minutes of me struggling to get this big cray out of its deep hole the boys decided that they were going to try and stitch me up as I've got my head and hand down in this huge hole thinking I'm reaching for this cray little did I know Dermot already pulled it out and was holding it right in front of my face He's in a deep hole. What are you looking at there? Oh, no. <laughs> Have a go. Look there. Go. No way. <laughs> Having officially bagged out on Grays for the day, we decided to go for a bit of a swim or a bit of a float around to see what else we could find. We couldn't believe our eyes. <laughs> and then to the crate right there at our feet. So here's Steve and I laying on rock. <laughs> rock right in front of us. I have no words to describe what I just saw. Considering Tom and I have been trying to chase a cray the last two years and have been unsuccessful and then to see them thriving in an environment like this was just insane. What do you reckon, hear him in? That was hectic. Honestly, still can't believe that. And like, the spot that it's in, unless we had a little bit of uh, local knowledge over here from Mr. Barnes, We'd be, 
we would never have found them, eh? So sick. Even that last spot there under that ledge, it was like a dozen of them just roaming under there, cruising. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna get these bad boys out, check them out, and then go to our next spot. What do you do that for? Just to mark so they can distinguish what's recreational. So on your rec license, you've just got a nick there. It used to be the center thing, but they changed that uh, oh. this year. So, so yeah, just so you can't sell them, obviously, I think. Yeah, yeah copy. Yeah, makes sense. Yep. And then. Beautiful. So obviously that's legal size, but you've, yeah, got, yeah. you've got the tool to measure them and stuff. Yep. So that's, that's yeah, beautiful so, color. Yeah, male. So that's legal that's at that legal. point. Yep. Right. Got a, got a few centimetres on that, and that's the male? Yep, that's the male. So he's got no nipper. No nipper on his back. Pretty cool. Back legs. Now the fins are different. Wow. Oh, that's cute. This is the that's the one that got away a couple of times. The one that I missed, then Liv missed. Yeah, we'll come in and save the day. Yeah, save the day with this one. It's got a bit of green on him, that one. Or is it getting moppy? It's a big boy, man. These things rip in, eh? Yeah, just that claw. Ah, my God! <laughs> <laughs> so, come on, you're right, yeah. Wow, well, he's a monster. What do you reckon that way? Uh, almost three kilos, I reckon. Almost three. Wow, oh, you little... They're so... Those things are so, so strong, eh? absolutely stoked with what we just got to do and the weather still being so good we decided to head to a nice little bay to go have some lunch and then it was time to get back in the water with the guns this time our target species was sweet there are weed eating fish down here in the tassie waters but apparently beautiful eating so we really want to get some of those in the boat Yeah. <laughs> um, that's, 
that's a bloody monster, honestly. Like, I, I honestly can't wrap my head around what we've seen and what we got to do today. So, it's going to be a good feed tonight, I'll tell you that much. Yo! Good morning guys. We have woken up in the beautiful little Bessie. That's what um, Dermont and his family call this little rig Bessie. So absolutely unreal sleep last night. Um, a lot more room than what we thought we were gonna have. So stoked with that. It is, we've woken up and it's like a very windy day, hence my hay fever at the moment. Miss Scoozy. But um, yeah, it's a lot more windy today, a little bit overcast. So I think the plan is, is that we're gonna go for a bit of an adventure or a bit of an explore around the island. Um, it's not a very big island. Like if you look it up on Google, it's tiny. Like you could probably drive from one side to the other in 40 minutes. And then maybe north to south in like an hour, depending on the roads allegedly. So yeah, we're gonna go for a bit of a look around, see what um, King Island's all about. And then hopefully if the wind drops off a little bit later, we might go for a fish or um, the following day is meant to be a bit wet, better weather for fishing and diving again. So we'll see how we go. But honestly, I'm stoked with what we did yesterday and like that, that'll do me. So everything on top of what happens right now is pretty much a huge bonus. Um, last night was really cool actually. We went over to Dermot's parents' place and um, cooked up those crayfish, put them in the pot, boiled them up, and then we actually made crayfish pizza, which was amazing highly highly recommend so but yeah we'll bring you guys along see what um the island's all about so it's bloody beautiful from what i've seen so far but yeah i'll bring you guys along and see what we can find and um yeah we'll see what happens for the rest of the day but let's go guys
if you're wondering why it's so loud and rickety and what we're driving we're in the um in the farm ute which is actually nelly's sister yeah yeah so if you guys have the, those who have been following the channel since the beginning you guys remember i had nelly my little d40 this is nelly's sister 100 percent it's um what is it like a nissan d yeah it's a, d, a d40 and it's got it's 390,000 k's on it who says, who says um, Navarra's aren't bloody reliable? Like 390 k's, come on. If you've got a nav and it's not a piece of garbage, let us know in the comments because I think it's a myth. But anyway. Anyway. Yeah, no, it should be good. Um, Derm was saying that him and his mates have been seeing a lot of kingfish cruise up and down the beach that we're going to. Yeah, we're just going to go check it out, see what we get up to, and as always, bring you guys along. Hopefully we can get some fish cruising down the beach on that the drone cool. for you. Yeah, I'm going to chuck the drone up and show you guys, get, get you guys up in the air and show you what, a bit more of what it looks like. <laughs> how, how turquoise is the water down here though? Oh, it's beautiful. I'll like, show, show you guys in a minute. The whole island is like farmland by the sea. Yes. Like, and it's just so green and so much life down here. Mm, I think yes. we're going to retire down here. I think we are actually. We've been we've been um been discussing the option. Like apparently winters down here, because you're obviously down in Tasmania, like just off the coast of Tasmania, the winters down here can be pretty harsh with like the cold and the wind and the rain, but the summers are spectacular, like super, super specky. So not too hot. Yeah, I'd love to get like a in the future the dream would be to get um a bit of like a piece of land down here and have a little bit of a holiday house down here for summer. I think that'd be unreal. Yeah, when we win lotto, I reckon we'll do it. Yeah, for sure. Maybe we should start buying lottery tickets. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we'll catch you guys in a minute once we get to this beach and we'll show you what it looks like. Cape Wickham. Cape Wickham, that's where we're going. Yeah, see the water is beautiful. Crazy driver. Yeah. Filmed in Mexico on a private beach. Mum and Ava in the back. Yeah. Finn and Liv in the front. Derm's been kicked <laughs> on the back with the dogs. <laughs> Look how clear that water is. Yeah. You're gonna come with the car, man? Yeah. <laughs> that this is Tasmania like an island off the coast of Tasmania the water is turquoise blue it is absolutely incredible I've probably said that a thousand times this episode but I just I can't get over it like the water is as blue as blue could possibly be like look at this anyway we've driven down to this beach it's all happening Derm's chucked the drone up in the air to see if he can spot any schools of kingfish and it looks like he did. He spotted a school of something that looks like kingfish. So the boys have grabbed their rods, run down to these rocks and they're going to try their luck. So I'm here on video and duty um, and my fingers are crossed. See if we can catch some, some good fish for dinner. That would be absolutely incredible and it would just be the cherry on top of this episode.
No bueno on the fish. No bueno on the fish, unfortunately. But um, it was still pretty cool to see those kingfish getting around, even like with the drone up and seeing them swimming through the water. It was very, very exciting, but unfortunately just couldn't get them to take the lure. I'm pretty sure I just about knocked one out with the lure. Yeah. But yeah, they just wouldn't, wouldn't take it, unfortunately, but that's, that's fishing and that's why we do diving, because yeah, exactly. it doesn't matter how hungry they are, if they're getting shot at. Exactly. But, um, but yes, no, it was still an awesome day. Like, I still can't get over how blue the water is down here and how beautiful the beaches Great. are. It's kind of like Fraser Island vibes when you're driving along the beach yeah, there. Yeah, it is. Massive very, big gutters. Yeah, very similar to Fraser Island. But, it, yeah, still a cracker day. Saw a lot of the island. We're actually heading back to the house now to make a green curry out of the sweep that we shot the other day. Those, like, big silver dinner plate size fish. So, I'm going to go do that tonight and then tomorrow is our last day. Mm. Last day before we hop on the tin can and fly across the Bass Strait back to the mainland. So, I'm sure we'll that see. plane we caught was actually made out of recycled <laughs> Bundy rum cans. It was so small. But, um, but yeah, so yeah, we've got a day planned for tomorrow. I think the weather's meant to be pretty good in the morning. So we're going to go for a bit of a poke around. Um, Wouldn't mind grabbing a few big green lip abalone. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, we still want to grab some green them. lip abalone. That would be really cool. And then, um, and then yeah, so we'll see you guys in the morning probably. But Yeah, it's actually pretty late now. It's really sunny still, but it's the like sun doesn't go down to like 9.30. Like sunset's literally 9.30, so. Yeah. It's about like 6.30, 6 at the moment. Anyway, we'll catch you guys in the morning. Talk to you. Talk to you. I just want to keep on loving you. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Um, so the plan is for today. Just thought I'd give you a bit of a rundown because it is, in fact, our last day on King Island. Go and kill heaps of crayfish. No. No. And then eat them. Yes, we're going to eat them. But plan is um, we've gotten up pretty early this morning we're gonna go for a dive and the, hopefully grab a few crayfish and some green leaf abalone and maybe scout the waters for some kingfish if we're lucky enough because um, we're gonna be doing a big catch and cook today with the fam for our last day here so that should be pretty good and then Tom and I are gonna sit down a little bit later today and kind of have a bit of a chat to you guys about the island and what we've been getting up to and our thoughts and how we actually ended up down on the island and had this opportunity given us given to us pretty much so yeah that's that's the plan for today so let's let's get into it I'll give you a little insight basically the island is garbage you would never want to come here <laughs> there's absolutely no crayfish <laughs> no fish to shoot people here aren't friendly at all so just leave the island to us really <laughs> yeah don't don't visit but <laughs> see you Sabi Hopefully, no, very good. See, see you in half an hour. Oh, when we get right. to the water. See you in half an hour. Well, the weatherman couldn't have been more wrong. The water was rough, and I mean rough. But being our last day on King Island, we decided to stay positive and head out anyway, even though we could barely see with the amount of water getting sprayed up in our faces.
Alrighty guys, so it's still pretty windy outside, so we thought we'd jump in good old Bessie. Um, this is where we've been sleeping pretty much while we've been on King Island. And yeah, have a bit of a chat to you guys about what's been going on and how we got here and that whole side of things, so, because I think it's pretty cool. But, um, but yeah, we, since being on the island, we've learned a couple of cool little interesting facts. Um, one being that King Island's population is about 1600 people yeah about 1600 people which in when you think about it is not much at all it's about 80 k's off the north coast of tasmania um i'll pop a little map in here so you can see where it is and yeah it's a beautiful little island and how big did it say it said it was it was like it was like 40 k's by 60 k's or something like that yeah, smaller 40, than yeah smaller than um fraser island yeah it it's is. not that big an island yeah there's a couple of little settlements but like one main town yeah. A couple of lighthouses. It's a pretty neat little um, island actually. Yeah, it's sick. Like we've had the opportunity, like we have had a couple of good days of weather, so we have had the opportunity to explore most of it. So we've been up north, a bit south, east to west kind of thing. And um, yeah, everywhere, everywhere we've gone has been beautiful from like the rugged coastlines to these beautiful white sand beaches with like turquoise water. It's been incredible. Um, a couple of other little fun facts. Uh, the whole way over this island there is like bulk big turkeys like I mean like turkeys that you'd have for Thanksgiving over in America like they're huge massive <clears throat> so huge turkeys there's peacocks running around everywhere pheasants um, you do get Derm was saying you do get some deer on this island too yeah yeah so if you are like you could pretty much live just by what you catch on this island between yeah, the ocean and the land what do you have to do you have to get a there's a there's a permit you've got to get to um, harvest crayfish, which we got. Um, and you've also got to, like, you've, if you're going to shoot them with a gun, you've got to get, like, gun licenses and stuff like that. But you just need basically a hunting permit to, um, yeah, to harvest a lot of them. Yeah. So, you can also eat wallaby on this island because they're not a native species to Tasmania. They were brought in, so... Course, yeah. Not like, you know, the mainland, you can't really harvest your own wallabies because they're protected mm. but over here it's like they're introduced so you can harvest them as well so realistically yeah. if you were that way inclined you could easily get a little hut over here they're and actually just... pretty cheap i've been looking no nah, not really <laughs> um, and you could literally just live off the land like like it's it's a pretty pretty cool place we have heard that winters down here can be pretty harsh but the summers from what we've seen are absolutely incredible so we'll definitely be looking into that for our retirement plan not gonna lie <laughs> we got a, bit of a, got a bit of a taste of winter today but yeah today's definitely been more like the winter days it, it was pretty hectic out there on the water today as you guys would have seen good summer holiday mm. so yeah speaking of derm and maize um so pretty much we met Derm because he came in and got work done at our diesel performance workshop performance stores, didn't he? Yeah. So Tommy tuned his D-Max, very similar setup to Betty. He's got the Mitz Alloy Train canopy on the back. Amazing. You wouldn't believe it. We got yakking. Yeah, you wouldn't believe it. Tom getting yakking to people and um, yeah, had a bit of a conversation with him. Yeah, we were just talking about diving and fishing and life and that sort of stuff in general. And he was like, oh, you should come for a run down to, to King Island where we live. And I was like, Oh, yeah, all right. Where's that? <laughs> I didn't uh, know where uh, it was. Yeah, I was like, yeah, all right, where's that? And he's like, oh, it's off the coast of Tassie. So, anyway, long story short, we didn't really plan a holiday for this year because mm. we had the shop move and all that sort of stuff, but we thought we'd take the opportunity to have the time off while the works, uh, the workshop's under construction. So, mm. And we're already down kind of in South Australia, obviously, throughout the last couple of episodes that you guys might have seen. So we were like, well, we might as well just, after South Australia, head into Melbourne, jump on a plane and come over here little did we know though there's no optus towers over here so it was very kind of <laughs> spontaneous and we are switched off like, yeah yeah next to no contact we've jumped on wi-fi a few times to make sure the family's all good but yeah they know we're still alive and stuff like that but yeah, yeah it's all it's it's honestly unreal but yeah it's a really big opportunity that i think we could have easily gone no nah, we're too busy we got too much on mm -hmm. we shouldn't do it and i sort of was in two minds when we were going through south australia about it but Mm. I'm really glad we just took the opportunity and mm. and run with it. Yeah. And these guys have been like so hospitable. The kids are beautiful. We spent mm. so much time with their kids. Kids are um, yeah. yeah, we just kind of kind of run with it. Derm's heaps cruisy, so he's like, "What do you feel like doing?" And we're like, "Oh, I don't know. We'll go and get some abs today, or some lobbies, or go for a fish, or go and see the island." And mm. yeah, it's they've great. just looked after us like we've known them for mm. 
20 years and I think they're going to they're gonna be lifelong mates. So Yeah, isn't that crazy though? Like you meet someone through like work or even, you know, social media say and like when you click with people, you know it and these opportunities come up where you get to go and, you know, spend time with them at their home and see how they live and go diving with them or, you know, hunting or whatever whatever you're into and it's, it's honestly incredible. It blows my mind when you think about it because... Yes, you know, we're given these opportunities to come down to an island off the coast of Tasmania and, you know, get monster crayfish. But at the same time, it's, yeah, got a lot to do with putting yourself out there and getting out of your comfort zone a little bit and just going, yeah, like just saying yes to life pretty much and just going, yep, sweet, let's do it and see where it takes us, you know, could be great. Yeah, I think life's pretty serious for a lot of people at the moment. And, you know, everyone's obviously trying to save to buy a house and pay their bills and that sort of stuff. And I think... You know, every now and then you've got to go, yep, I'm saving, but I've just I've just got to run with it. Yeah, you need to do something for yourself, you know. Like Tom said, we could have easily gone, we need to get back home and been stressing and whatnot. And we are keen to get back home and get back into work, especially for 2023. But at the same time, you've got to give, I feel like you have to give yourself that time to chill out and enjoy life sometimes. 100%. And I think it'll make, you know, we did this similar thing last year at the start of the year, had, had a bit of time off. And I think it just gives us a bit of room in the tank for the whole next year yeah that's it so yeah, yeah i'm keen to hit the ground running this year too yeah but anyway guys it's been an unreal experience down here like i honestly didn't expect tasmania to be this beautiful well, king island to be this beautiful but i'm so glad we came down here so glad we we're able to get my first cray in the water and actually break that cray mm. curse finally i'm absolutely stoked yeah we're clear but, um, of that thanks to yeah from thanks Mix. tim <laughs> <clears throat> but um but yeah but for now we're probably going to leave the episode here um and we've got a crayfish pasta, pasta <clears throat> in the cook at the moment yes we are yes one of those crazy we grabbed the other day so yeah we're going to go in enjoy some crayfish pasta with the fam for our last night here on the island and then tomorrow we do fly back into melbourne and the next episode you may be seeing us do a bluefin tuna mission once again if the weather does permit it yeah. but it does depend on the weather a little bit down here at the moment so uh, if it's not that, we're not sure. We'll see what we get up to when we get back or what happens. But um, Might go home for the weekend and put our feet up before we start back at work 100%. rather than get to work on Monday dusty from travelling. Mind you, you guys are probably going to be seeing this episode like a couple of months into the year. So, you know, <laughs> we will be well and truly back into work. So Happy Christmas in July. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the episode, give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment about anything you might have seen or any questions about the island and whatnot, what we've done. Um, we've done a whole series of South Australia too, so if you haven't watched that, feel free to go back and give that a bit of a squeeze because that was pretty unreal as well. And, um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see where the next adventure takes us. But Maybe let us know if you would travel to King Island after seeing the episode. I'll be yeah, curious be to see to know, whether or not people would go... Oh yeah, that looks good. I'd go down there. Yeah, I'd be keen to know that too. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well and we will catch you next time. Cheers. Yo! Alrighty guys, I know we said we were going to finish the episode on King Island, but we want to give you a bit of an update. Pretty much we flew back from King Island, landed on the mainland and then met up with our mate James, who we've been out bluefin tuna spearfishing with previously. Um, went for a bit of a dive yesterday and this isn't our fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, they ruined the story straight away. <laughs> it was like such a build up, you see this like big bluefin and yeah, no, we didn't get this yesterday, um, unfortunately the stars didn't really align for us and you know, that's just mother nature sometimes, but um, but yeah, but we're still going to fill this one up. Yeah, so long story short, we went we went for a dive yesterday, didn't get a bluefin tuna, but we did get a heap of scallops, we smashed them last night, they were delicious, mm -hmm. uh, but we are fortunate enough that James and Am have um, quite a bit of tuna dry aging in their garage. So James has basically insisted that we take some of this dry aged bluefin tuna with us. It's been dry aged for two weeks, so we're just going to fill it up, cryovac it, and then um, take it home with us. And take it home with us and feed some of the crew up with it. So um, yeah, the reality is, every time you go fishing, you don't necessarily get a fish. So yeah, we're very, very fortunate and very appreciative of um, of James and them to yeah. to give us this bluefin. That's why they call it fishing and not catching. <laughs> so I'll I'll fill this one up and. Um, <clears throat> I think we'll hit the road and start making our way back home. Get ready for work. Bit of sweet. I'm ready to go back, but I'm not. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go.